What's up, you guys? Chad Guthrie, the Dream Poet here, coming to you all with another fun-filled vlog here in the state of Florida. Yes, it is time to anchor down for another vlog. And today, you guys, we are here at none other than the NASA Kennedy Space Center. Yes, to tell you the truth, y'all, the last time I was here, I was like six years old. So, I'm really, really looking forward to this. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious. But one of the things that I do want to see while we're here today is, of course, I do want to see some of the Mars robots, drones, not drones, robots. I do want to see the Atlantis. And I do hopefully want to get more up close to that thing right there. So, you guys, without further ado, we're going to jump in here. Let's get this vlog started. Let's do it. Anchor down. Okay, now that was a little bit longer than I thought it would have taken in line, but alas, so we, lost we are really inside. Dude, check out the size of these rockets. Just gotta think. What all those saw going up into orbit? They're just so majestic, you guys. But looks like there is a marker that talks a little bit about this type of rocket. It was called the Delta. It stands about 90 feet tall. First aid, propellants, liquid oxygen, kerosene. Dang. That's pretty fast. But if I'm not mistaken, it looks like it launched sometime March 11th, 1960. That's cool. All right, here's what you do. There's an orange tank sticking up over there. That's what you don't have to get to. Last thing, in order to do our new stuff, we are assigning two American So this bad boy, bad boy right here is the Saturn 1B. Looks like it was launched July 15th. No, wait, that was Russia. Well, actually no, July 15th, 1975. It was launched at the Apollo Command Center. It had launched a very important component for the International Space Station. Nice. For International Space Component. And that thing is very, very heavy. Now that's big. Okay, now apparently this one contributed to the Mars exploration. Yes, it looks like it was launched July 7th, 2003 from Cape Canaveral and landed January 2004. So this, so this is, dude, that's so sweet. But for more information, the Delta II ushered in a new era for space flight. Eh, well, that's cool. It served as the Air Force's uh, first global positioning system. The final Delta II lifted off September 15th, 2018. Looks like it's kept a 29 year history. Now that. So this bad boy right here is a Saturn V F1 engine contributed to the Apollo mission. Within three minutes, the rocket would be traveling at speed, oh wow, 6,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 38 miles, huh. It was said at the time, except for a nuclear explosion, the launching of a Saturn V rocket was the loudest man-made noise ever produced. Huh, nifty. So this is really cool. This is a part of the Gemini. 
the Gemini 6 and 7. It was this rocket that man was, or it was proven that man could survive in space. On June 3rd, 1965, Ed White cracked the hatch of the Gemini 4 and took America's first spacewalk. Nice. And it looks like you can get inside the Gemini, at least. Looks like it's more or less a recreation. Yeah, it's a recreation. Let's see if I can't get sit in here without getting stuck. No? So I guess they made this for fat people too. All right, you guys. Now let's go check out the Atlantis exhibit. You know, when I see this, it kind of reminds me of the fuel lodge that they have out at Green Cove Springs, back at my current home base. Maybe you would have thought they could have used an actual one, but I guess not. So let's get in there. So how do you start or launch? Yes, how do you launch a revolution? You just walked under the power behind a groundbreaking space transportation system. This full-sized orange external tank and white solid rocket boosters propelled the space shuttle into orbit. Huh, well, still doesn't quite look like a real one though, but I'll take it. This puts off so much of a movie vibe. That's one thing that I really look forward to now that, well, movie theaters are opening up again. I hope, I hope the movie theater doesn't shut down. Right, let's go check out the Atlantis. Building 36? I didn't even know there was a building 36. It must be important if everyone's here. We got propulsion, aerothermal, flight dynamics. This vehicle has to do something that we have never done before. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, now this is cool. I was not expecting this part. This is something totally new on my end.
26 missions over was it yeah 26 over so many oh dude this is beautiful 26 missions where's that 26 years i'm not too sure but good lord you guys you know i, I guess videos on youtube does not do it justice this thing is a titan you know the funny thing is this morning they just launched another spacex so i, I love the uh the coincidence probably be coincidence amazing shout out to my friend lee Giot. lee i'm sorry i didn't take you to chuck e cheese with me as i know this is like your favorite place I'm sorry, bro. Well, this was empty. While you may think of the space shuttle opening your payload to the bay doors and releasing large satellites like the Hubble Space Telescope, she also launched many smaller. And this one is called the Picasat. Picasat. It's kind of reminds me of like a, a a missing no from Pokemon, but. Yes, yes, I, I derived that from Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, you guys can see here? Yeah. I want to just look really quick. It looks like we have kind of a diorama of what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, so many buttons. So we got ourselves a control center. Hmm. No wonder. Look. Hmm. Well, that didn't do anything. Huh. These aren't your typical dad's tools. Apparently, when they launched the Atlantis, these types of tools had to be strong enough to hold temperatures colder than the Arctic, yet sustain heat that's, well, hotter, hotter than an oven. That is very, uh, very interesting. This is a wrench, although it kind of looks like, honestly, it kind of looks like uh, a lightsaber. Yes, yes, because we're, 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 we're at, at NASA. So, we have the Pixar. Pixar. Uh, I'll, I'll just call it the Pixar. Anyway, we had something, a satellite as small as that, but then we had the size of the Hubble Space Telescope. Check, dude. As Peter Griffin would once say, why are we not finding this? That's huge. Oh, now this is interesting. This is the same nozzle that's, well, behind the orbiter. Yes, it was an RS-25 engine. Huh, the sign and flexibility. Just like, just look. Oh, goodness. Yes. You know, video does not, does not do it justice. Not one bit. Fun fact, this nozzle could uh, this nozzle could produce over 37 million horsepower. It's, it's quite a lot. You're good. And if you thought there was a lot on the first floor, there's a lot on the ground floor. But that doesn't really make much sense. I said ground floor than first floor. Or maybe it does work. I'm sorry. Anyway, we're going to the ground floor of, uh, of this complex. Last flight, July 8th, 2011. You know, this kind of puts off a John Wick kind of vibe. It's very, uh, very ominous. There we go. And now we are here on the ground floor. It's it's, it's way bigger from, from down here. I'm, 
I'm a little intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. You know, if I were about 20 years younger and a little more better in shape, I'd be climbing in that thing right about now. But I'm, I'm kind of too old for that. I'm, I might get stuck. Living in the void. So uh, I guess this is what I kind of like to use the bathroom. You know, that, that must have been weird to... Oh goodness, there's my ugly mug. Must have been weird to use bathroom in space. Take a seat. Oh. But, very... It looks like, well, it looks like at one point you could use that, but... COVID said no. Well, they have a 115 scale replica. Dude, yes. So much yes. Looks like they've got the wheels right here. Oh wow. You guys? That feels like straight up rubber. But yes, that's that's the wheels. They used to go on this baby. Well I guess that's one way of putting your back into it. So I guess this is the camp same camper that uh all the astronauts, astronauts used to stay in. So I guess that, so it's pretty well taken care of. All right, you guys, it looks like this is, well, the memorial room. I think that's probably the best way to call it. A memoriam, there we go. The first is the Challenger. Actually, I remember when that one went down, uh, I was about in the the fifth grade when the rocket exploded. It, it was very sad, very uh, very sad thing to. I remember I was I was coming back from lunch and that's that's when I saw it on uh, on the news. In the Columbia, I don't really remember a whole lot about, but uh, let's go inside. So yeah, you guys, this is just a memorial to those who lost their lives during space exploration. If I'm not mistaken, the lady on the far end, she was uh, going to be the first teacher in space, which was, look awful. Then there was the Columbia. Again, these are just the personal belongings of all the astronauts, well, yes, all the astronauts that that lost their lives doing what they loved. Great way to go, very sad way though. This one on the far end. He was the first Israeli to be in space. Ian Ramon. The future doesn't belong to the faint-hearted. It belongs to the brave. That is a very true statement. It looks like this is a piece of the Challenger. Almost looks like brick, but it just took the insulation. Yes, it was the left side body panel. And on the right is the Columbia. Oh, so actually it was the Columbia that went down. My, my apologies. I got the two mixed up. Yes, the Columbia went down when I was in the fifth grade. And here are parts of the Columbia. This room is very, uh, Ominous. Godspeed, astronauts. Godspeed. I'll tell ya. That last part there was very, very sad. It only makes you wonder what people gave in the name of exploration the passion, the desire to explore beyond the cosmos. It's beautiful. Very beautiful. So, I think since we've seen all of that, we're going to go check out the Mars exhibit. Explorers want me. Hazardous journey, small wages, bitter cold, long months of complete darkness, constant danger, safe return doubtful, 
Honor, recognition, and case of success. Ernest Shackleton, RT Explorer, 1914. Well, let's check this exhibit out. Dude, check that out. It looks so real. But I know that is an incredible hologram. Now you've been brief, you're ready to be part of the future of space exploration. Okay now. I thought there was a little bit more to this exhibit, but there's a really cool display program or really cool programming over there. But we're gonna check out the exhibits on the journey to Mars. Oh wow. So it looks like they're looks like they're building the shuttle. Kinda looks like an eye. And it looks like this is one of the original rovers that went to Mars. All right. Huh. 58 inches, 12 inches. Looks like that just tells a little bit more about the other, the other rover comparison. So this is the Sunjour rover, Sunjour, Sunjourner, Sunjourner rover, built in December, built December 4th, 1996. Although not necessarily a piece of equipment but looks like this might be the future of mars exploration it looks like these are some of the latest vehicles so i guess it's kind of like a, a space suv it's beautiful like technology is moving forward and it looks like these are the newest rovers perseverance right there and curiosity it's just kind of that's kind of like a bug vibe to it i mean that's how i'm feeling but dude just check out the size of these things and speaking of the journey to mars here is the latest prototype you know it, it kind of reminds me of something you would see in a sci-fi movie like maybe like alien or stormtrooper is it paratroopers or stormtroopers i can't think no stormtroopers are, are star wars but dude that is so epic so yes this entire vehicle is all electric 23 feet long width 13 feet wide height 10 feet basically this this makes or this makes any rednecks souped up truck pale in comparison quite, quite frankly uh, it kind of reminds me of a tesla on steroids well you guys we are going to visit this one last thing heroes and legends sponsored by boeing and just just look at that gorgeous architecture it has a very much fdr kind of vibe to it that's gorgeous. Alrighty now, here we go. So this is the Sigma 7. Crammed in this capsule for over nine hours. Wally, Sriracha, they doubled the distance in the previous US Dow, not in distance. Hmm. That is beautiful. And so they have the Mercury Mission Control Friendship, 1962. The trenches. So this is the Mercury Control Center sign. That's that's got some age to it. It all began in 1959. This is the Gemini 9A. 9A, the extravehicular activity. The awe of space is a thing of beauty and peril. Gene Kerman, having spent three days inside this Gemini capsule, emerged into the void beyond, heart racing, helmet fogged, and the unknown of a self-return, safe return. His tenacity in overcoming these challenges would help define how humans walk in space and what it means to be a hero. And those are quite a few burns.
Yes. That was a fun experience. And I like to leave the end of the vlog as that. What does it mean to be a hero? Or who is your hero? And well, you guys, during this vlog, I got some very, very sad news. As of today, my papa, my grandfather, I found out that he finally passed away. I'm really kind of dumbfounded. Part of me feels very sad, but at the same time, I know I will see him again. Just hate that I didn't take the opportunity to see him the last time, but you know, those things happen. You know, we don't really know when we will be called back home. But Don Gray McCoy, thank you for being one of the most amazing grandparents ever. Thank you for being the inspiration that you were in my life. Thank you for being another father figure that has transformed me into the man that I am. I will miss you, Papa, and I will always love you. And I know there will come a day when I will get to see you again. Much love to my family. I pray. And also I ask for prayers in this time of need, especially thoughts, whatever it might be. But you guys, I like, I like the coincidence. We strive for heaven, but really, really, that's it's not our decision. Vlog over.